All right, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Trigger2295 here, and today I'm going to be uh, addressing a problem that a Vero was having uh, when he tried recording uh, vocals in Cubase LE5. Uh, apparently, let me... Uh, actually, I'll open up Cubase first so I can get that ready. Uh, pretty much what he was having problems with was he would... Uh, there was one problem, actually, first I'm going to address... He was saying that when he pressed audio and then process, it would uh, it would uh, not show up any options that he could select. So, um, in order to do that, make sure you actually select the audio track and then uh, you'll and then press audio and process, and you'll be able to do it uh, from there. You'll be able to select the op uh, options, and then uh, right here, I'm just gonna open up any random selection here. So this is just a guitar track. That's uh, one reason. Uh, another thing that he said, uh, he said he figured out the process part, but he said exporting is uh, still not right. He said all the tracks are still silent when he exports them and he can't hear anything. And he said he checked and they weren't all and neither one of them were muted. So I'm gonna try and help you with that. Um, I don't think it would be in the software itself. Uh, I'm guessing, my guess would be, it, it's probably going to be in the interface. Um, either the interface or the mic. I'm not sure. He said he's using a Tascam US122 MKLL uh, interface. And, again, I don't use that. Actually, I have my Lisa's Multimix 4 USB mixer slash interface. So, I don't know uh, how that thing is set up. I don't know if it's good or not. Um... But my guess, you know, Tascam is actually a pretty good, you know, company. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. It, it could possibly still be the mixer or the, the interface, though. And it, like I said, it could also be the mic. But one way to test this out is to get a Guitar Hero mic and uh, plug that in. Just plug it just directly into the USB port. And if you and then record anything, just anything random and export it. And make sure when you export it, if you know, notice it's highlighted up here. Set the left and right locators, okay, or else you won't be able to export anything. Set the left and right locators, so just go to the beginning of the track, make sure this is at one, and then go to the end of the track, and then set it to whatever this is, set this to whatever this is. So, uh, again, I got it somewhat close, but that's just cutting off a little hair. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, you want to try and plug in a Guitar Hero mic and see if that works. If that does work, then it's more than likely in the interface on the mic. And you could test out if it's the interface by getting just another dynamic mic from one of your friends. Or, uh, I don't know if it has a XLR jack in it, but you could also try and get a uh, condenser mic and try that too. I don't know, because it looked like from one video, I noticed one of his videos that I looked at his channel... It had a. Uh, uh, it looked like he was using a condenser mic, so more than likely it has an XLR jack in it. So again, use a different type of dynamic mic or a condenser mic and test out that way. If you can hear uh, the audio, then then it's the interface. But if you can't hear it uh, with another mic, then uh, I would guess that it's the interface. If you can hear it though, if you can hear audio then it's the mic, and then you just need a new mic. Uh, but another thing that's a bit a major problem, uh, actually, before I address this, he also said in there, I'm trying to go off the top of my head, sorry if I'm jumbled up here, uh, he also said in one of his comments that uh, he saw in my track, it looked like this. There were two white lines. That was my mistake. Uh, it's only supposed to be one uh, white line, and the reason why there were two is because I accidentally recorded in stereo, which you never record vocals in stereo. You only record it in mono. And because there, uh, because I was in stereo, that's why there's two lines. Uh, but if you record in mono, like I'm, like you're supposed to, which I didn't, uh, there's only going to be one, like really big line right here. All right, and you know that's just showing. This is the left. This is the right. That's all that's showing. Those two lines. Uh, he said the upper one, I think was the upper one, is not mo uh, not moving. It's just staying constant. If it's a constant white line, 
more than likely it's picking up audio, but I don't know if he has a desktop or a laptop. My laptop has a built-in microphone, so even if my device isn't uh, registering on in Cubase, uh, it'll still pick up audio through my um, laptop's mic. And um, like I said, I don't know if he has a desktop or a laptop, but uh, if you have a desktop with Audi mic, it'll probably it might pick up some white noise, which might be the reason why you're hearing. Well, you're not hearing anything, really, but you're seeing a constant uh, line. I don't know if you're seeing a line like this, or if you're just seeing a line like this. Okay, uh, that wasn't specific in there, but again, if you're seeing a line like this, then and you still can't hear anything, more than likely it's just picking up a bunch of white noise, and that might mean that you have a bad... Well, no, it wouldn't mean a bad ground, I don't think, because then it would just be like a... Oh no, it could be a bad ground in the interface, but then you wouldn't be hearing anything, or you would be just you'd be hearing audio. You'd, you'd just be hearing a fuzz behind it. I've had that happen with my other interface, which is why I got my Alesis. Uh, but one of the major problems that I uh, have done numerous times, and it's a big mistake that'll cost well, not well, it ain't gonna cost you, but it's just gonna be really annoying because you won't know what's going on. You'll think, oh, I plugged in my interface and it's not working, and all that fun stuff. Well, make sure that you go to devices, then device setup, and you can see it right here. Okay. Now, the HD audio mic and audio stereo, that's all the, um, that's the laptop mic right there. Uh, right here, HD audio output and uh, audio codec, USB audio codec. That's my mixer. Uh, that is... Uh, the reason why you can't see the input for this is because this is my screen recorder that I'm using right now. Uh, I'm, it's actually, this is using my mic right now, so it can't be used for two different programs at once. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, make sure it's actually showing up here. If it is, make sure it shows active or inactive. Stop. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, uh, after you do that, make sure it shows up there. Then go to devices, VST connections, and go to the inputs. And again, it's not going to show my mixer, but it'll show up right here. It's just say USB something, you know, USB audio. Like here it says HD audio. Uh, like I said, it'll show USB audio. Like for the outputs here, it'll only show my laptop's uh, audio and my, my, my mixer. See? So, uh, again, it sounds stupid. It sounds like a minuscule type of problem, but... Again, you would not you you don't know how many times I messed up and forgot to do that. So make sure you do that. Uh, so pretty much that's uh, is that's all I can really think of. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, just to go over again real quick, uh, relapse. Uh, use a Guitar Hero mic to test out to see if you could still record and you, you see if you can record and you hear stuff. Okay, if you can, then try and get your hands on another mic, a dynamic mic or a condenser mic, whatever, and then plug that into the interface. If you can hear your audio, then it's in the condenser mic, and the condenser mic's bad, and you got to get a new one or whatever kind of microphone. Like I said, I, I could have sworn I saw a condenser mic that he was using. Uh, other than that, other than that, if you can't hear audio, then it's more than likely in the interface, and just try and uh, get a new interface. Um... Also, hold on, sorry about this, uh, my phone is ringing. Hello? Yeah? Uh, I don't care. Alright. Alright. Yep, bye. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's my little cousin calling. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Where was I at? Oh yeah. Um... So test out uh, the mic, and then if you can, like I said, if you don't hear audio, then it's more than likely in the uh, interface itself, which means you have to get a new one. And uh, also record vocals in mono, not stereo. Uh, that'll get the signal stronger. And you also, if you want to get that stereo, effect, stereo effect, pan them slightly to the left and the right and multi-track them, okay? So record the vocals twice, more than once or three times, however many. More than just twice would probably do it. And then uh, make sure your device is showing up in the device setup list. And then if it is, make sure that you actually have it in the inputs in the VST connections. 
make sure it's actually right here device port make sure you actually have that selected if it's not you're not going to get any audio and uh, that is about it and then like I said the audio and process issue make sure you actually see if I don't click this I go to audio and process I can't select any of these okay so what you want to do sorry about that um yeah uh, what I was all I was saying I'm just gonna finish up real quick here uh where was I oh yeah make sure you actually click the track and then click audio and process and there you go you got all your selections here so that's it uh, I hope this helped if it did then uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, not only to this channel, but to my other channel also, TMP2295, it's where I do guitar and vocal covers, metal guitar and vocal covers. So yeah, if uh, you guys have any questions, if the, uh, if it didn't work for you, I uh, just comment, and I will try and help you, because I've had situations like this where it has messed up, and it's a pain in the neck, so I'm going to try and help you as best as I can. So that's it, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Uh, Alright, later.